Ain't no good for the body. At least let God use you for something. When you get connected to somebody that's going somewhere, you're going to get blessed. You're going to get a breakthrough just because of a connection. You know, a lot of people receive miracles because of who they was around. Amen. Amen. I mean, there's people who have received blessings just because they were around the right individual. Okay. At the right place, at the right call. Oh, God, you know what you Come on, give God credit. Come on, come on. And I'll tell you something. When a spirit is on a person, and it's, it's, it's raining on them, and, and you see it happen, it can do nothing but permeate on you. Oh, come on, give God credit. Hallelujah. Y'all don't want nothing. The Apostle Paul was connected to God, and even in this particular passage of Scripture, it's letting us know he was dealing with the people who was ministering to Rome, amen? And how when he went to Rome, he wanted to impart in them in their lives uh, to continue in the faith, amen? And he looked for the faith connection in that particular people. Amen. Because you know you've got to have faith to even receive. That's like preparing yourself to receive God's blessings. How can you receive something that you really don't believe? But when you get connected to God, that's a divine connection. You don't know, you know, take yourself out. Some of y'all sitting up in here don't even know who you really are. You know that? There's so many ideas in some people right now, they're millionaires and don't even know that. To move you. Yes. It's going to take faith to get you where you need to be with God. Am I right? Oh, come on, give God credit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh, listen to that glory. I like that in the back. But he, listen to this now. He drawn to them and, and talked to them in ways so that they would impart faith in them and their lives would be changed. But he continued in faith. He looked for and that connection, his faith connected them in a way that the people, when they got connected to God, they saw the signs and wonders, amen? And some who would love God that didn't love God. Do you know because you uh, stay in a place with God and you get connected, you didn't really know God at first, but now you're loving God like you never loved him before. Have anybody experienced that besides me? You don't have to be made to love God. You don't have to, and you know what? I know a lot of people say, you don't have to go to church to be saved. You don't have to go to church and stuff. But I'm going to tell you something. Don't fool yourself. Yes, you do. Because the Bible says it's safe not to assemble yourself. You better get your tail somewhere. Hey, oh, come on. Give God praise. Am I right? Yeah. Who's going to school when you go to heaven? Who you gonna say you sitting on? Huh? Okay. Be like, I, well, I used to listen to Benny Hinn at home. Ain't you don't listen to Benny Hinn, but Benny Hinn can't give account for you. Benny Hinn don't even know you. You just sending money and sending money. Ain't nothing changed. Because you sending money like everybody else. They already got the empires built up. Come on, somebody. But somebody that you can touch and feel, you know, can get a fresh in you. That's who you should try to support. Oh, come on, get God. I see why Paul I'm serious. Because you do some crazy things. Do you know that? I can see why uh, Paul used to tear out the Corinthian church, too. Because the Corinthians is just like us now. We just as crazy. You give us two dollars and we just act a fool. Whereas when you know you are number ashes and God raised you up. Thank <laughs> you. 
One day you can come wake up and say, I got it, Pastor. I didn't have it at first, but I got it now. I'm more than a conqueror to him that loved me. Amen? Ain't the name of the church. It's not the name of the preacher. It's the word of God that's telling you that you're the one that he called to be who you are. You are anointed for whatever it is you're doing. Come on, somebody. But you have a divine connection with God. Let me read it. Now, some of y'all ain't going to see this. Amen. It says that, that is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith of you and me. Look at that. Mutual strengthening. In other words, we got strength together. Your faith and my faith is all standing. Satan is scared and we hook up. See, Satan is scared and we hook up. That's why Satan don't like some of y'all. He got a bullet with your name. Uh huh. Kill her, kill her, kill her there. Kill her. God said, don't touch her. Because they'll go there and say, man, you know, I was down on my last dime. And I 
didn't know how I was going to get to work. And for some reason, that sister that was sitting on the second row, she just was led by God to bless me. I ain't saying people should come to church for, for blessing only. But I'm saying to you, let this be the house of blessings. Come on. You shouldn't just come here. Uh, I mean, you know, you want to hear the word of God and the worship is good. All that is good. But guess what? This should be a haven, a safe haven. This should be a place where when you leave out the word, you love to go to church. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I love to go to church. I love to see Sister Torah shout or something like that. Or I love to see that uh, brother run around the church. I love to see uh, Sister Betcha dance when she's singing and Sister Noreen doing the rock too. Child, don't let me know the right song come on. The connection comes in. She like, what's that guy standing like? She get that stand, <laughs> it's on. <laughs> but you know what? What's so awesome about it is because you feel the alone. He said. 